Hi, let's solve today's daily challenge that is sort characters by frequency. In this question, we are given a string S and we have to store, uh, sort it in decreasing order based on the frequency of the characters. So normally when we sort a string, um, we sort it according to lexicographical order or dictionary order, right? But here we have to sort it based on frequency and in decreasing order. Right, so that what that basically means, if you consider the first string, we have tree. So first I have to get the frequencies of these, right? So I can see T appears only one time, R appears only one time, E appears two times, right? So this is one, one, all right. Now the sorted order would be whichever element, if, I, if I'm giving two elements with different frequencies, I have to take the element with greater frequency first. So E has most frequency, so I have to take E first then we have to take RT right now RT has the same frequencies doesn't matter if um, R comes first or T comes first so both of these are valid answers and because there are multiple answers, I can return any of it it will be considered right and that is also clear uh, with the test case too right um, here we have this string and he, I can simply see that C appears three times A also appears three times so both these strings are valid answers so now I, I hope you have understood the question now let us see how uh, we are going to approach it and solve it. So one thing is for sure that because I have to sort according to the frequency, so I need to get the frequency. So first of all, initially, right, uh, forget about the rest part, we have to create a map, right? We have to hash all these frequencies somewhere. So we'll create a map. Now, then what, right? After this, I can either, you can also take a pair and try to sort it using a comparator, etc. But here, uh, what I'll do is I'll take a priority queue, right? So what is a priority queue? If you don't know, priority queue is a data structure in which we store values according to priority. So the very first value inside the priority queue um, is the element with the max priority. And the second element would be an element which has less priority than the first element and more priority than the later elements and so on right so that is what priority queue is now how it is going to help me so i'll say according to the frequency i'll store these characters inside the priority queue so for that what i'll do i'll declare a pair of int comma char because it's the frequency that matters to me right and because um, if the frequencies are same whatever is the order it doesn't matter so i can simply take this pair of int comma char and make this priority queue now what my priority queue would look like is for this particular test case my priority queue will contain two comma e then it will come contain one comma r and it will contain one comma t right so this will give me e e r t now what i'm going to do is after creating the priority key i'll simply iterate in it so the uh, always using the top function inside the priority key, let's say this is pq, right? So pq.top in C++ returns me the very first element with the maximum priority. So which is 2 comma e and after taking this element, I'll remove it and I will insert it in my answer. So I'll get ee. Then I will come to the, sec the next priority element that is 1 comma r and insert in the, in the string and 1 comma t and insert it in the string. Now also note one thing that the letters appearing as many times must be in present inside the string so it must not be something like this we ha if there are two e present then we need to print e e so this is basically the very first approach uh, now i'll not go and code it out i'll simply show you the code here so first what are we doing is we are taking answer string then we are taking this map so as i said initially we have to create the frequency array or the map right we need to store the frequencies so first we do this and after having all the frequency you have to create the priority queue right also another thing that i would like to quickly point it out uh, to beginners is do not store char comma int because then your answer would be different uh, so the reason for that is whenever you try to sort pairs right what happens is first value of the pair is compared right so if let's say you store char here right let me just give you a gist of what i'm trying to say let's say we have a string like d d d a and b b so what will happen in this case is the answer you can clearly see must um, you can clearly see must be is a a a d d or b b right or we can have answer as b b 
or DED. Now, what I'm trying to point to you is that when we will declare this priority queue, right? So this is actually max priority queue. So the element with max value will have the priority. So now when I'll create the map for this, right? Uh, I will have D as two, A as three frequency, B as two frequency, right? So when I'll try to insert in the priority queue, right? Uh, and with the with this, right? Care comma int, what will happen is I will get D first because as I said in pair, the priority of this is considered. So it will give me the priority would be like D gamma two. And then we would have um, B because B is, um, B is, has more value in lexicographical order. So we'll get B comma two here. And then we would get A comma three. So this would give me incorrect answer, which is D, D, B, B, A, 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 which is completely wrong. So that is why you need to take care of how you are inserting the values inside of the pair. All right. So I hope you have understood this Why I'm emphasizing on this. All right. After doing this, we will put these values according to int comma cat inside of the string, right? Oh, sorry, inside of the priority queue. After that, we'll simply iterate inside the priority queue and simply put all these characters inside of our answer and return answer. So this is basically the approach. Now, if we discuss the time complexity for this, the time complexity for this approach would be O of N for this to create the map. Then to create the priority queue, it will be big O of N login. Why? Because this push function takes login complexity. Why? Because we are basically trying to insert values in sorted order so that is why it is going to take login time complexity and the whole of it is going to take because there can be at max n elements inside of the map so it will take n login right and then for this priority queue traversal at mass pq can also have n elements so it will have um so this is also a number of operations so basically the whole time complexity becomes big of n login only uh, and space complexity, as you can see, we are using map and priority queue. So for both of these, uh, space complexity will be big of n. Now let us go ahead and discuss a uh, optimized approach for this problem, which is called, which we can achieve using bucket sort, right? I'll just simply tell you this here. Now, first of all, let me discuss what buckets, bucket sort is, right? Um, you can go and read it on GFG as well. But I'll just give you a gist here. So let's say I have values as 0 0.2, 0 0.23, and let's say I have 0 0.31, 0 0.52, 0 0.43, and let's say I only have this array and I want to sort it. So in bucket sort, what we try to do is I will try to create an array, right? And let's say its length is 10 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now what i'll do is here whatever elements i am add right i will multiply it with 10 right and after multiplying it with 10 and taking the integer value i will store it store it at that particular index so here you can see 0 0.52 into 10 would be 5 point something which is the integer value would be 5 in that case so i will create kind of sort of a bucket right here and store this 0 0.52 here then i will come at this value so if i multiply it, i will get three index and i will store this value inside the bucket so all these indexes represent buckets right so we are trying to segregate the values according to some you know a uh, function or something basically and then we are taking these buckets and what we will do instead of sorting these values right we will sort these buckets after creating them and so what will happen is the time complexity in this case becomes big o of n plus k now n is the number of elements in the array and plus k k is the elements um k is the number of buckets all right so here we will get 0 0.31 similarly for 2 if i create the bucket i would get two values right 0 0.2 as well as 0 0.23 and then we have for four index as well i have to create a bucket uh, which will store 0 0.43 now i will sort these buckets and i will start iterating from here and then i can see here we don't have any bucket 
here do, we don't have any bucket here we have one bucket so using any sorting algorithm which might fit in this uh, particular scenario we will sort this so the sorted order we would get is 0 0.2 and 0 0.23 after sorting this we can you know uh, simply let's say put it inside of our answer so we'll get 0 0.2 0 0.23 and for th 3 as it is a single element we don't really need to sort it for 4 it is 0 0.43 then for 5 0 0.52 so you can see my um, array is now sorted correct so this is basically what bucket sort is now how are we going to use utilize this concept to solve this question right so if you notice what we are basically are interested in is frequencies right and at max an element's frequency can be equal to the size of the array or, or sorry the string right so let's say i am given a a a this is the string and the frequency of a is 3 so 3 is the size of the string right so at max i can have this frequency so what i will do i will create a bucket array right and in this all the indexes would be representing uh, the frequencies and at those frequencies we will store the characters right so i hope now you are getting it let me take that string only which is let me go down here let me create this array again okay so let me take this string as d d a a a b b and let's see we take c c and c all right we have this now what is the size of this string 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so we will take uh, an array of size 12 all right why because oh sorry 11 plus 1 why because um we are saying these indexes represent frequency so 11 index we will not have if we only take s dot size um frequency uh, sorry bucket array right so we need to take so if there were only a's then the frequency would be 11 and if the size of it would be 10 so the 10th index would be representing you know um the last frequency but we want 11 frequency we want to store at 11 so we would want this as well right so that, that is why we'll create 10 plus 1 in this case it is 11 plus 1 i guess 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 yeah so we'll create two l sized array here all right now 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we have these frequencies so we have these buckets basically and these represent these bucket basically represents frequency and at those bucket we have to store let me include e as well here so it will become 13 and then what we have to do we have to take the elements which have this frequency and store inside of that bucket now for d i can see it is present two times so i will go to the block two and here inside of this bucket i will store two then a is present three times so i will go here inside of the bucket which has three frequency and here i will store this is d okay and this is a then for um b i can see the frequency is two so i will go here and store b here then for c i can see it appears four times so add index four so this is the frequency i will store c then i will go e okay e is present only one time so in this bucket i will store e now if you see if i because i want to get the sorted array in decreasing order i will start iterating from the back side of this array so the first bucket that i get is at four index so i will include c four times in my answer correct then if i come to this index i will store a three times then i will come to this index so i can store either bb or dd here doesn't matter all right and then we will store e so the rest of the string will be same so these two answers are possible in this case so i can return any of them so now you can see that how easily i was able to sort this 
right and that too in reduced time complexity so that is the whole logic for bucket sort so i hope you have understood it now let us quickly go ahead and try to implement the solution so i'll come here and first things first i have to declare the size of the string and then i have to create the map map of char comma int mp now uh, i can create an ordered map here as well so now i will iterate in my string of s and store these values inside of my map right so the map is created now what i have to do here uh one more thing that you can see is to create these buckets what are we going to use this is i'm very clear this is an array so i will use a vector of vector basically right uh, so vector is a dynamic array so if i take vector of vector so this vector represents this these buckets right with frequencies these and the inner vector represents at this particular index at a particular index another vector will be stored which is our bucket all right so it represents these these buckets all right so we'll take a vector of vector and here i have to store characters and let me call it as bucket and we have to also give it a size what is the size the size is n plus one why i already told you okay so bucket um so we have formed this bucket array now we have to simply iterate in the map right and the index would be the frequency that we get from the map that is whatever is the second value of the map that will be my index at that particular of index i have to um append this character right put this character right and store it inside of this vector so there can be many characters of the same frequency right so inside of a bucket all right so now i'll iterate in the map and i will take the bucket of what index the frequency index that is it dot second dot push back what character is present this number of frequency so this number of times right or that frequency that i have to put so it is it dot first so i have basically formed my buckets as well now because the string has to be formed in decreasing order so let me take string answer here and because it has to be in decreasing order so inside of this bucket array right we have to iterate from the back side so i'll say for int i is equal to n i greater than zero because it obviously zero frequency characters we don't have to store right then i'll do i minus minus and then for each of these characters i will put them inside of the string right so i will iterate for int okay let me just take auto it in let me take this as character right so because a character is present that bucket of i index i have to put it inside of my answer so answer plus equal is string the size size is i and which character how many number the character that has to be repeat this number of times will be stored here so after this i can simply return my answer so this is the whole approach this is how i have to basically solve now the time complexity let us discuss is big o of n now why it is big o of n and not n log n or n square right you can see here we are only you know uh going to iterate in a bucket when it has values right so the iteration is for this array and for these buckets so buckets are k only right and the number of elements is n so that is n plus k and not n into k so i hope you understand it so the time complexity is also reduced the space complexity definitely we are going to have because of this and this so that will be big o of n only and let me quickly run this code and see if it works all right so it's accepted so this is basically how i have to solve this question